A welcome back. Summer is the perfect time to enjoy an evening at the theater. And in Schuylkill County, you can check out a play free of charge. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Hensley is live in Pottsville with all the details. Lauren. Kelly and Chris, the name says it all. Schuylkill Free Shakespeare. These guys are pumped. <laughs> they're delayed pumped, but still <laughs> pumped. And all this week, they're going to be performing two different shows, As You Like It and King Lear, from today until Sunday. Plenty of opportunities to check it all out. Best of all, it is free. And I'm also hearing that there's beer and wine served for a small fee inside of the Yingling Mansion. So come out, have a drink, and check out the wonderful performances. So, Sean, who's your character? I play Amiens in As You Like It. And who's Amiens? Amiens is the bard for one of the, Dan the banished dukes. Duke Senior. <laughs> a bard. You're using a lot of big words this morning. What's that? A bard is a person who was part of the court that followed around people of power and played music and did scenes about what's going on in their life to kind of like lift up their spirits and keep them happy. Y you, you think you can follow me around? Oh, absolutely, Lauren. I will definitely be your bard. Yeah. Don't worry. So that's going to be my theme song <laughs> walking around. You're going to hear that at the station. And uh, Hannah, tell me who you play. I play Phoebe in As You Like It. And who's Phoebe? Phoebe is Sylvius's love interest. So am I gonna have to stand in between you guys here? <laughs> but uh, she doesn't really like you, huh? No, she doesn't. No. And, <laughs> and you know, a lot of people think Shakespeare is hard or complicated, but that's not necessarily true. Hannah, what would your message be? I think a lot of people are scared of the Shakespearean language and think of it as old English, but it's really modern English, um, and a lot of the phrases and common sayings that we use today come Like what? From uh, like, dead as a doornail, um, uh, knock knock, who's there even, yep. and... Yeah. We're not going to have time to get to Taylor just yet because we want Cole to take it away. Taylor's coming up in the next segment, but Cole right here, he's a proud Hofstra graduate just like our own Chris Langwis, our student. Go ahead, take it away. <laughs> this is the excellent foppery of the world. When we are sick and fortunate, often surfeit of our own behavior, we make guilty the sun, the moon, and the stars, as if we are villains by necessity, fools by heavenly compulsion, knaves, thieves, and treachers by some spherical predominance, adulterers, liars, and drunkards by some sort of enforced influence of planetary... You can check out all this fun from today until Sunday. Reporting live, Lauren Bye. Hensley. Bobby. Eyewitness News. Compounded with my All right, Lauren, thank you. Hofstra grad. He's pretty good. Hofstra taught him well. Yeah. I, I always feel like a smarter person when I'm you know, watching or reading Shakespeare. Like, yes, yes, oh, that is true. Yes. yes, but oh, he's really good. No, and the energy level, too. And, and like she said, it's great because it, a lot of people get intimidated by the mm -hmm. Shakespearean language. So it, makes, it takes it on a more modern level, I guess. And it's free. Yeah.